something like that. Okay. So, you know, I think last time we we're talking about, you know, how um, as men, when we look at our fathers, they are basically the idea of we praise them. Man. Yeah, you know, exactly. they're basically the idea of. So we might not see as much toxicity in them as, you know, we, we, we praise them and point blank, that's really who we want to be. And, uh, well, 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 whilst, on the other hand, some of the best characteristics that we have, some of the best traits that we have, uh, you know, split in half, you know, you've got... Some of the best traits that you could see in a man, some of them are from the mother, some of yeah. them are from the father. And, you know, when we look at it, we don't look at it that way, you know. And, yeah. Uh -huh. So, um, in general, mm. as kids, mm. you know, you grow up and, you know, you're like your parents' disciples for like the first half of your life. <laughs> and yeah. Then, uh -huh. then afterwards, you know, you go to a point whereby you can, you, you see the world for yourself and then you can pick whatever you want. So I yeah, guess that's yeah. the general general theme uh -huh. but then you know just to, to put like what you said you know some things we get from our dads mm -hmm. some things we get from our moms you know funny enough being masculine is something some people go from their moms uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah right? yeah yeah uh -huh. um, so you know you get things from your mom and from your dad but then you know a lot of the time a lot yeah. of guys just feel really weird it makes sense because you know like um a friend of mine was recently telling me like how he how her nieces um, you know, like the mom is always like, like she's got nieces and, and nephews, right? Yeah. But you know, whenever the niece wants to play with dolls or something like that, the mom is always like, um, no, you can't be playing with dolls. Yeah. You know, you're a boy, you're going to go into a man. Exactly. And you know, stuff like that. Um, so, I mean, look, man, if, if we're living in a society mm. and you know, we have ideas and you know how things function mm -hmm. if, if the men are thinking in a certain way the mm -hmm. women are probably thinking that way too uh -huh. right uh -huh. i mean men and women are together like i i saw a quote somewhere mm -hmm. and he was saying like men and women are two different wing wings on a bird <laughs> right for anything to work uh -huh. the the wing of the, the wing with the women Mm -hmm. has to flap as hard as the wing of the man. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh -huh. So what I'm saying is like, in society, if if, if everyone believes something, uh -huh. it can't just be the guys. Uh -huh. So of course, too, everyone... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. why it continues to persist. Because uh -huh. if one side is like, yo, chill. Mm -hmm. No, not that. I can flip harder than you said. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the bird won't fly. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, that was just a commentary on society as a whole. But what you asked me is, really from a personal viewpoint mm -hmm. you know like what you you really felt like what what you get from your mom and your dad mm -hmm. and in general i feel like if it's any good attribute or a trait mm -hmm. whether it's feminine or masculine mm -hmm. you should never feel ashamed of it yeah you know because uh -huh. you know some of some guys are kind because mm -hmm. maybe their mom was kind mm -hmm. you know so, such things are graceful because their mom was graceful mm -hmm. maybe even their dad or something like that mm -hmm. but then you know whenever you're growing up mm -hmm. And then you 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 meet all the societal like standards. Mm -hmm. and then now you like want to like sweep all those nice things about yourself uh, that you go right, from your uh, mom. Uh, You're like, yo, I'm too nice. Uh, uh, yo, I mean, you. That's the issue. Uh, the, the issue really is a conflict of self. Uh, uh, I mean, if we sat down and a lot of, a lot of guys dissected themselves, mm -hmm. a lot of guys are conflicting mm -hmm. inside. They're like, damn, bro, like I'm too nice. Mm -hmm. I need to be rowdy like the other guys. <laughs> And that's that's where the problem is. I uh -huh. think, like, look, you, this is you, uh -huh. and you should be able to be yourself. Yeah. You know, you need to open the gates mm. for you to just be free, free with who uh -huh. you are. And I'm not, it's not it's not about being emotional. What what what? Mm -hmm. It's about being. Okay. Some people are emotional, but it's who they are. Uh -huh. And if that's you, then be you. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So yeah, you know, as we. You know, as we bring the, the conversation, you know, to the close and everything. You know, we are the U Network, so whenever we look at something, you know, we want to see the hope in it. Because basically, that's who we are. We are hope, you know, we exactly. believe in hope. So, you know, we would want to talk about positive masculinity, you know, in the sense that um, 
you know, there are a few things, you know, that are so beautiful about it that, you know, we could pick up, you know, slowly as men and yeah. integrate into our personality and how we see young boys and how we deal with them as a community, you know. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> so one of these things is, you know, like generative fatherhood, you know, like as we're saying, how boys envy, how they, they you know, they see their fathers. So, um, basically, generative fatherhood is a principle where, like, um, you know, you look at your father, right? Yeah. And you look at his wrongs and you look at him holistically. And you look at the traits which, you know, he, he was very good at, you know, yeah. the positive, the very positive traits. And then you take that, you integrate it into yourself. And then um, your kids do the same to you. And, you know, it's a circle of continuous improvement. Yeah, exactly. How do you feel about it? Do you feel like it could, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a step in the right direction? And, yeah, so you know, obviously, uh, the best that we can do is uh, make sure our generation is good. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah, means yeah, yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I mean, it's kind of weird, but like, if I want my grandkids to um, probably have a healthier way of being in this world, it has to start with me. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I kind of have to set the example because mm. I won't be there when my grand, some of my kids and great great grand, grandkids are there mm. to tell them like, "Yo, chill." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think it really starts from here, mm -hmm. and you you kind of have to, you know. I feel like there are a lot of stereotypical ways of people viewing this generational mm -hmm. idea. Mm -hmm. They're like, "We're going to break the generational curse." <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Right, some people are like yo, we're gonna break the generation of curse. Uh, uh -huh. Whichever way you look at it, uh -huh. you know, you kind of have to set, you know, I want you like the standard, or you kind of have to set the pattern. Mm -hmm. The pattern is better, right? Okay. You have to set the pattern of having a healthy life, because that's what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like how can you live a healthy life? life. Uh -huh. You know, it's not healthy to live by rigid ideas mm. that constrain sides of yourself exactly so we're trying to figure out how to live healthy and mm. our job for our generation mm. is to be the healthiest version of ourselves of ourselves and what 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 happens when you're the healthiest version of yourself everything else around you benefits uh -huh. right uh -huh. like your kid kid will benefit mm. from having a dad with a healthy head and shoulders mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. your 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 relationship the other thing of, about men is if men are not expressing themselves what does that mean for the people around them mm -hmm. your relationships suffer yeah. yeah the quality of your personal relationships aren't good mm -hmm. and there's a saying that says the quality of your life mm -hmm is the quality of your personal relationship. Oh. Right? Because that's how you experience life. Yeah. You experience life with your experiences with people. Mm -hmm. And if your experiences with people mm -hmm. aren't great or good quality, mm -hmm. then that's your experience of life in mm -hmm. a way. So, you know, it's really about being healthy. That's yeah. what we're talking about. Yeah. If, yeah. if you've got a rigid way of being a man, mm -hmm. that and it's, it's definitely going to constrain your relationships and in, in ways because then you start finding you know if you if you listen to to the book um if will smith's audio book mm -hmm. he was talking about how his daughter changed his life mm -hmm. you know those mm -hmm. she did uh if you guys don't know his daughter is willow smith mm -hmm. and she had this hit record like whip your hair mm -hmm. and you know he wanted to make so much money mm -hmm. He was so excited, and he booked this whole tour, mm -hmm, yeah. and he never thought to th he never thought to himself like, how does my daughter Do feel, feel uh, about uh, this? Uh, so he kept on pushing it because he had this idea of what success should be for his uh, family. Uh, it's kind of rigid, uh, uh, right? And then his daughter, you know, long story short, cut off her hair, which was the big branding for the whole thing. How can you take her out there if she's got no hair? Damn, the whole thing's like messed up. Yeah. But yeah. then he realized like, oh snap. Mm. He, he said he it made him aware of emotions mm. right so yeah. that has to tell you something about this like yeah, what yeah. this guy was not aware mm -hmm. of emotions mm -hmm. so what does that tell you about the quality of his relationships mm -hmm. and it, it makes sense because mm -hmm. if you look at him and jada you find jada says things like i mean i'm not trying to rip <laughs> she said she cried every day for 40 something days uh -huh. so clearly he was not doing his 
due diligence mm -hmm. with his relationships, right? Yeah, yeah. So you know that's 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 the whole idea. It's like, you know, these things that you do, mm -hmm. we're not doing it just for the sake of what you can do to everyone else around you, physically or emotionally. Mm -hmm. It's how it also impacts you, you know, in, in a way. Mm -hmm. And the way people experience you, it, it's really about improving the quality of your life. That's mm -hmm. what it really is. Yeah. So, you know, if you could just relax mm -hmm. and, you know, introspect upon yourselves. Mm -hmm. Some guys might not be able to do it because maybe you might be emotionally repressed. Mm -hmm. Maybe experiencing emotions is, is something that you haven't been doing. Mm -hmm. Now, how can you have a genuine relationship with someone else if you can tell them how you feel? Mm -hmm. She says, maybe a girl guy says like, how do you feel? Is there anything wrong? Mm -hmm. And you don't know. Mm -hmm. How are you going to correct your own actions? Mm -hmm. How are you going to make people aware that if you continue doing this, things are going to go wrong. So basically yeah. the whole relationship will tank. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So yeah. So, um, you know, and there's this idea of, you know, men having an accountability partner, you know, like, um, let's say I think this, that the whole idea is, you know, somebody who is willing to tell you the truth, that here, man, you've messed up no matter what the case is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, how do you think that that could help? So I mean, uh, everyone can attest to you know because obviously it's a personal thing. But mm. yeah, you want people who can hold you accountable, mm. whatever it was, and hopefully you've got honest people mm. that you know tell you tell you like it is. Mm. And I, I guess that's that's a privilege that not everyone has, mm -hmm. you know. So I, if you've got people who can hold you accountable, mm -hmm. use them, man. Yeah, use them like. If you're going through a hard time, tell them. Yeah, don't be feeling insecure about it. Yeah, tell them, man. It's a privilege. Yeah. Not everyone has that. Yeah. You know? And, you know, the other thing, you know, we're also talking about is, you know, there's a very famous saying from Africa, you know, we don't know which country it came from, but, you know, that, you know, um, uh, it takes a village to raise a child. Yeah. And, you know, basically it looks into the idea of a community having to do more in the bringing up of a child than their parents or guardians personally may have yeah. and what do we do what uh, what can we do you know how can we hold these young boys accountable you know for for their behaviors for their aggression for whatever characteristics you know as they are growing up yeah. to make sure that you know we try and minimize the toxicity in these traits yeah so well that's it is true mm -hmm. and you know it's like the aggression one mm -hmm. like like like, you told, like i told you it's 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 kind of complicated it's not not easy either right because like um you know i'm bringing more studies <laughs> let's, let's but have like it. Uh -huh. there, was, there was a study that that showed like aggression in kids mm -hmm. and to to a large part it was kind of found like aggression is kind of biological mm -hmm. but the expression of aggression is what's not exactly biological mm -hmm. so you find like a kid you know you, like i asked you like what age are people the most violent mm -hmm. and the answer is about from two to four years old mm -hmm. from two to four years old people are like mini ter terrorists mm -hmm. it's like it's like osama bin laden <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> at two to four, they're little terrorists, fam. They're throwing things, scratching uh -huh. things, slapping things. Yeah. They're always instigating, right? They're uh -huh. just like that guy. Yo, let's. Yeah, they choose yeah. violence. Let's destroy this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So obviously, it's in a large part the parents' job mm -hmm. to socialize mm -hmm. aggression out of your child. Yeah, yeah. And you know, that's that's the other aspect, right? You know, they're a lot. Of, uh, I'm not trying to run away from the answer, but there are a lot of things mm -hmm. about us that are developed from those formative years, mm -hmm. from like one to four, yeah. that are hard to change. Mm -hmm. So usually if someone is not socialized mm -hmm. from the time in those, that period, then you find someone who's just going to be basically aggressive for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. Most of us are mature out of aggression. And yeah, apparently, yeah, yeah. And you know, if you've been socialized, right? Mm -hmm. By the time you're like 27, 20 something, you know, the cycle is ending. Mm -hmm. The aggression cycle is, you know, now, now you're a rational guy. Uh -huh. That's different. But no, not everyone goes through those things. So it's mm -hmm. kind of, it's kind of um, a mixture mm -hmm. of how people, the experience of people in the household, mm -hmm. and then that spills over to the community.
Okay. You know, in a way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. obviously, yeah. as a person, before you went went outside into the world, where were you? In the house. So whatever product you became mm -hmm. is, outside is, 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 is then what you go and you know show. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it it's there's a, a Jordan Peterson quote mm -hmm. that says like if if you don't like your kids, mm -hmm. no one else will. Yeah, yeah. So you have to raise your kids in a way that doesn't make you hate them. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's that's the thing, you know, it's, it's it a lot of it starts from home mm -hmm. as well. So like when you're raising your kid, if your kid if your kid is annoying to you mm -hmm. Imagine how everyone else experiences it because you have a filter. Mm. It's your kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, to, yeah. To, you, to you, he's like, oh, he's kind of annoying. Uh -huh. To everyone else, he's hella annoying. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's the thing. Really, a lot of it starts from home. Uh -huh. And then, you know, society is a harder thing to put your finger on because mm. you can't find everyone who's influencing your kids. Mm. You know, you just, you, you just hope that you've done enough for your kid mm. so that whenever he goes out into society like we said he can pick out the best the best okay um so um yeah so i think i think we have i think we have done this justice yeah uh, yeah you know and so. what we do know is we haven't discussed everything that is in terms of you know the hope yeah. because you know that there's there's a lot of hope there that is, that can stem from this and you know um personally i want to thank you man for this conversation yeah no really no problem man and by the way uh, i'm not like some research guru <laughs> some guy who knows all this i know know as much about this as i know as I, about other things my life isn't social science <laughs> so i, I have okay. to say that you know yeah, uh -huh. because you know I, I don't want people to have reverence for me for knowing things that uh -huh. we should all know no yeah yeah right like i i know as much about this because everyone should know should about know it. about this yeah. yeah and you know i also think that um as as the viewers you know when we talk about um if you feel like we left out something i feel like you should just in the comments in the comment section below you know just just give us a few things a few ideas you know that you think might be helpful and might be part of the solution and so thanks to you man yeah no problem man okay yeah, yo, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yo, look, look at us, bro. We're so masculine, aren't we? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah.